Hello everyone and welcome to Drawing You Waifus, if it was Ruska once again, let's get back, right on back, to the Homestuck. And it's Dio I'm drawing. What a, what a cool thing. Alright. John, open large present. Oh, hell no. John, capture log ashes. First you prop the Harlequin doll up on the couch. Having it in the middle of the floor sprawled out all akimbo like that struck you as unseemly. You capture log the ashes to your available card. Combine, uh, John, combine ashes with urn. You merge the sacred urn with the ashes. Most of the ash is back in the urn, but it's a total mess. Really, it probably would have been tidier if you just use a broom and dustpan. John, put urn back. No one will be the wiser, except for maybe people with eyes. John, go get fake arms again. You just got another brilliant idea for something to do with those pointless arms. You pry them out of the cake and capture log them. Looks like Pester Chum is acting up again. John, examine third and fourth walls of room. John, check Pester Chum. Another one of your chums is messaging you. John, check message. Let's check that message. TT. Oh, it doesn't say that like TT began pestering some something or other at some time. It just it just starts with it. Okay. I understand you have recently come into possession of the beta release of the Game of the Year, as featured in respectable periodicals such as Game Bro Magazine. That's an ugly rumor. Who told you? Whoever told you that is a filthy liar, and you should probably stop hitting on him all the time or whatever. I can't control myself. I must have a weakness for insufferable pricks. Anyway, I haven't still ch I haven't still haven't checked the mail. My dad has it. I'm trying to get it from him. So BRB. John, what? You're wearing one of your disguises now, aren't you? You are typing to me right now, wearing something ridiculous. No. Why would you th even think that? That's so stupid. Okay. Why don't you get me the game from your father? I get the game from your father. All right. Wish me luck. Oh, by the way. JK, I was wearing a funny disguise this whole time. Gotcha! Hee 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 hee! I know, John. The fuck is that voice? John, go back downstairs. You can now execute that brilliant idea you had. There should be enough frosting on the fake arms to serve as an adequate adhesive. John, attach arms to doll. Hee 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 hee! You don't care what Colonel Sassica says. That at least. That makes it at least a million percent funnier. John, inspect burnt paper on the floor. <laughs> Broblerone. You put this back on in the fire where it belongs. John, throw present wrap in fire. As long as you're cleaning up. John, capture log doll. You can carry hefty items, but that thing is just way too big. Get real. Besides, you don't even want it. John, read Colonel Sassica's text. Hmm. Should I read this? No, <laughs> you have to read it. You thought about consulting the text to determine how hilarious the doll is now, but this text is way too big to navigate in a timely fashion. You decide to forget it. Yay, this is exactly what I did. John, find dad and retrieve mail. God, the computer's so lo fucking loud. The door on the left leads to the kitchen, from which the smell of baking wafts. A powerful aroma which could lift an especially portly hobo off his feet. The door on the right leads to the study, where your dad spends a lot of time. He could be in either room. Where will you go? John, go in the study. It doesn't look like he's in here right now. John, examine father's desk. On the desk is a, desk, a deck of playing cards, one of your dad's pipes, the April issue of the series Jester magazine, and a stray capture log card. There is also a can of peanuts on the desk. Haha, <laughs> oh dad, you won't be falling for that one anytime again soon. A severe peanut allergy is a terrible affliction to cope with. John, upgrade costume from hat, with hat, from hat, rack. Fuck! God damn it. I'm gonna take a drink. Oh, look at that, look at that Dio coming into life. All that hair. Anyway, back to Homestuck. You swap the magician's hat with the bowler hat. This disguise is somewhat less funny, but a lot more distinguished looking. John, combine second pipe with clever disguise. Your dad maintains numerous pipes around the household. A father without a pipe is like a strapping young roughneck without a toothpick. That is to say, he is rather piss-poor excuse for a roughneck if you ask me. 
You'd rather not take the pipe, though. The first one tastes bad enough as it is. How you suffer for your comedy. John, examine capture log card. Yes, this will be a perfect for expanding the space in your silly... John, capture log, capture log card. Ah, you capture log the capture log card, now it's capture log, you can't use it. John, play haunting piano refrain. Pages including sound will be preceded by S in the command. I guess I'll just let it play through my headphones and then you'll be like getting a, a, few, a brief glimpse of it from like in the distance and that'll be like the perfect. John, play 52 pickup. I didn't finish watching the S. You play the prankster's favorite card game even though you are alone in the room thus rendering it an especially foolish version of solitaire. So stupid! Look at this mess. The peanut gallery over there sure is getting a kick out of it. You are allergic to their scorn. John, attempt to leave the house. You go back into the living room and contemplate checking the mailbox outside. You think perhaps you should exhaust all possibilities before plunging headlong into a dad encounter. Your television is currently airing a commercial. John, exit. You exit the house. John, check mail. Predictably, the mailbox is empty. You have already been scooped up. Uh, you have already been scooped by your father. S. The streets are empty. Wind skims the voids, keeping neighbors apart, as if grazing the hollow of a cut reed, or say a plundered mailbox. A familiar note is produced. It is the one desolation plays to keep its instrument in tune. It is your thirteenth birthday. And as with all twelve preceding it, something feels missing from your life. The game presently eluding, eluding you is only the latest sleight of hand in a repertoire of an unseen riddler, one to engender a sense not of mirth, but of lack. His course- God, shut up, it's so loud. Stupid, big, deep noise voice, S. Uh, where was I? His coarse schemes are those of a less of a prankster and more of a common pickpocket. Uh, the fucking- I've, I've lost my place- Alright. His coarse schemes are those of less of a prankster than a common pickpocket. His riddle is absence itself. It is a mystery dispersing altogether, like the moon's faint reflection. With even one pebble of inquiry dropped in its black well, it is the most diabolical riddle of all. Absence diminishes little passions and increases great ones, as wind extinguishes candles and fans a fire. Walt Whitman, Wh Wh Walt Whitman, Walt Whitman. You are, yes, you are certain Walt Whitman said that, 100% positive. You have a feeling it is going to be a long day. Next. John, leave a surprise for the mailman. N no John, see if your father left the mail in the car. The door is locked and your dad has the car keys. You peer in through the driver's side window. You don't see any mail, but you do see a green package. There is also something underneath it that looks like a slip of paper. Could these items have come in the mail? You don't see anything else that's usually in the mail, like bills and coupons. Maybe your dad forgot to take this stuff inside. John, spy in the kitchen. You try to get a gander through the kitchen window, but you can't see a whole lot. It seems your dad has been doing so much baking, the glass has steamed up. God, he is so weird! But you can see what's on the table just beside the window. It looks like the mail is there. Including among it is a red included among it is a red package, some bills, your dad's PDA, and an envelope that appears to be suspiciously labelled with the suburb logo. Could it be? Unfortunately, the window is locked. John, go back into the kitchen. You have no other choice, you're going in. Clever disguise. It's time to work your magic. S John. Enter. Oh shit, bro. It begins. Your dad sees right through your costume. You don't know what you are even thinking with this foolish ruse. You unequip the clever disguise. Your dad wields a dreaded artifact of confection. He stands between you and the mail. There is only one way to settle this. S. Strife.
Oh, shit. We're fighting my dad. We're fighting my dad. I hate my dad. Aggrieve. Oh, he's, I'm running. Um, oh, I hit my dad with a hammer. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's abjure. Oh, you're giving me cake. I don't like it. I'm gonna do that again. Oh, no, I don't, I don't like cake. I don't like cake. I'm John Egbert. All right, let's hit him with a hammer again. This, 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 this is the best thing to do. Oh, Jesus. That's uh, Surely, if I keep hitting him with a hammer, he's gonna die. That's probably a bad thing. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, John... John, John, stop hitting your father with a hammer. Stop doing it. Jo John, all right, John, retrieve the package and flee to your room. Jesus, get out of that. You cannot abscond. This pesky guardian is blocking your path. You will need to engineer some sort of distraction. And now he brandishes yet another artifact of confection. The man is ruthless. You'd better brace for impact in the most comedically striking fashion possible. John, equip disguise for defense. The beagle puss absorbs mo the brunt of the treat. It looks like Dad will enjoy the prankster's gambit on that exchange, as is usually the case. John, capture log pie tin. You take the pie tin and unequip the beagle puss. Everything in your cellar decks is pushed back a card. The smoke pellets are ejected from the deck. Yes, this could be just the distraction you were... Nothing happens. What a huge letdown. John, take the cake. When the two great forces oppose each other, the victory will go to the one that knows how to yield, Oscar Wilde. Wise words by a man who likely could resist anything but temptation, everything but temptation. The cake forces Colonel, Colonel Sassica's text out of your Silidex. Sassica, you beautiful bastard! Now's your chance! John, abscond! Now that your dad is busy placating the smoke detector, you can safely sneak away. John, take PDA. You snag your dad's PDA. Maybe later you'll switch the background image to something hilarious as a prank. Besides, it may come in handy later. Your spare capture lock card is forced out of the Silidex and consequently integrated with the deck. You now have five cards to work with. Oh, and look at that. It's done. Vriska is Dio. That's Dio. Rio, in, in fact. Thank you for watching, and apologies for the computer fan, obviously. That's just part of the charm of this terrible fucking show. So come back next time, where I will be drawing another one of those things that I say.